Well, everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be going over charging by friction. So in charging by friction, uh, we actually start with two objects that are not charged. This is the only scenario where this is happening. We have a neutral and a neutral object. So these electrons are actually as happy as they could be, but we could charge them. We could essentially cause some electrons to build up on one object and leave another. So what, in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to rub these two objects together. You can't just put them next to each other and electrons will jump. Again, they are happy. So we need to create some sort of friction. Now, when that happens, electrons are gonna jump from one object to the next. Now, the question is, do they go from the balloon to the paper or the paper to the balloon, all right? In that case, it all has to do with electron affinity. And electron affinity is just essentially saying like how much an object wants electrons. So the object with more electron affinity always gets the electrons. So if that's the case, electrons are gonna go hop over from the paper to the balloon, all right? Now, you could have two go over, four go over, three go over. Since this one's ending with the charge of negative three, I'm gonna have three electrons go over. So I'm gonna actually draw exactly what I had before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm gonna make all these atoms neutral. All right, but electrons jumped over, so I'm gonna draw one here, one here, uh, maybe one here, and then I'm gonna circle the rest. Okay. And then over here, these three electrons left this object, so maybe one, two, three, these ones will stay positive. That's where the electrons had left before. And then I'm gonna draw my other ones to be neutral. and still circle those. Okay, so in terms of the amount of protons, remember protons always stay the same, that's what makes up the mass of those objects, but electrons can move. So this one gained three electrons, it has a charge of negative three, so it has 13 electrons here. Three left the other one, so now we're at seven here, still same amount total, all right? And the resulting charges with charging by friction, since one, so since some electrons are going from one object to the other, they're always gonna end up with opposite charges. 